name is Aibwe Pre Margaret, the founder of Maggie Cares Foundation and Maggie Global Congo. I initiated the Works Against Depression and Suicide previously and yet again another one titled The Widow's Might. The Widow's Might is a program that I uh, um, initiated for widows. The thing is, death is very inevitable and no matter how long we live, no one would ever want to lose a spouse. And what about those women who lost their husband in tragic ways unimaginable? How do you think they survive? Well, the ones who don't have any job or any form of entrepreneurial skills and all of that is so sad. And this is why this program was initiated just to reach out to every widow who needs love, help, care, finance and probably some form of mentorship and motivation. For Widow Smite, we as a team would reach out to a lot of widows, young widows, old widows, middle-aged widows, whatever form of class or age category that you are in as a widow. We want to reach out to you to tell you how much we love you by giving you our widow smiles. And also we'll be joining hands with other great entrepreneurs who will be teaching you and training you also for different entrepreneurial skills and teach you how to start up a small scale business, whatever you say you want to do, if you want to sell a charge card by the side, to just take care of your children and not just feel left alone. We are here to be a shoulder for you to be. A couple of years ago, I was having a discussion with one of my favorites. And we were discussing about her mom and she was just showering a lot of encomiums on her mom and how her mom has been a mom and dad to her. You know how people wish themselves Happy Father's Day even as a mom? Yeah, there are some women who deserve a Happy Father's Day wish. And this is why she said that her mom deserved a Happy Father's Day wish. She said that her mom trained her and her siblings through school selling just yams. I want to ask her how it was for her and said it was very difficult. But she also told me that there was a meeting or there's a group for widows that the mom belonged to at that point that um, they donate some funds to maybe 200 naira per month and at the end of the year they can just share the money within themselves or buy a bag of rice and everybody shares it. So it was quite an, uh, a touching story. So when I asked her, I said, how many people are in your meeting, your mom's meeting? He said, ah, roughly 50 people. And I said, okay, how much will it take to get bags of rice for everybody? I said, Maggie, that one a big project too. I said, it doesn't really matter, we can do it. This was two years ago and I'm very glad that in 2021, we are able to keep our words and reach out to these people individually, not just to share rice or food. It's also it's good to teach people how to fish and also give them fish. So for this program, we'll be teaching widows how to fish and also giving them fish. I am so glad that one of my dreams will finally be fulfilled with the help of Scoop with Zena. I want to thank the Scoop with Zena for bringing out all these amazing stories to people in the um, society for them to help out and reach out in the way that they could. She brought out a story recently about a widow named Adiza. Adiza is a widow who has a lot of children to train but there's no means of income. So what she does is to sweep around the streets of Abuja and get little funds here and there. The story of Adiza represents the story of a thousand and one widows out there. I know that there's an Adiza very close to your neighbor. We'll find them, bring them and we'll help them.